Hi guys, welcome back to Math with James. So today we have this problem. We have two curves in the coordinate. The first one is y is equal to x on the top, and then you have y equals x squared underneath. So these two curves enclose a shape over here. I'm going to shade it out. And then we're going to rotate this shape along the x-axis. So the question asks us to find the volume of this resulting solid from this shape rotating around x-axis. All right, in order to understand what the shape finally is, let's take a look at the second coordinate. Actually, I have done a reflection of this shape over here. Let's just use a color to shade it out again. Uh, blue is a really good color. All right, so if you rotate it uh, along the x-axis, that means you're turning it toward the direction of us who are watching the screen at this moment. So just turn it outwards of the screen and turn it down probably you form a circle downwards to this point and then you turn it backwards up and also to the inward direction of the screen. If you look at it sideways, you will see this shape over here is a perfect circle. It's pretty easy for us to do that if we use a slice method. Let's slice it over here randomly and let's just say this point crosses the x-axis is x over here. All right, we pretty much need to find the area of the slice that intersects with the shape, all right? If you look sideways, the area will look like a ring shaded out over here. And it's pretty easy for us to get the area of the ring because it is basically the difference between this big circle and this small circle. The radius of the big circle actually equals x and the radius of the small circle, small r, is equal to x squared. It's pretty easy to see from the coordinate over here because this function here is y is equal to x. So the height from this point to the x axis is x, right? The small radius is over here. The function of this curve is y equals x squared. So the length over here is x squared, which is also the small radius. All right, now we have the radius and it's pretty easy for us to get the area of the ring. Uh, A actually is equal to pi big R squared, which is x squared minus pi times small r squared, which is x raised to the power of 4. Finally, the volume of the shape can be expressed as v is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of a, which is pi times x squared minus x raised to the power of 4 uh, with respect to the variable of x. And then uh, if you do the calculation, the final result is going to be 2 pi over 15. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.